In their effort to smash a criminal ring that's stealing babies and selling them for adoption, Nick Carter, his secretary Patsy, and his assistant Scubby have been captured by the gang and taken to a deserted warehouse. Dutch, one of the gang's gunmen, has orders to kill all three of them as soon as he receives a signal from the chief, one of the leaders of the gang. With his gun ready, Dutch waits for the signal. Yeah. There's the chief's signal that it's all clear. You know what, Carter? I got a funny feeling this gun I'm pointing at you is going to go off when I count three. Like this. One. Two. Dutch. Did you know the cops are looking for you already? Huh? What do you mean they're looking for me? There's a dragnet out for you right now. Why do you suppose the chief kept you in that back office all day? Why, I... Just I... so the cops wouldn't find you. It's a lie. The cops got nothing on me. Oh, yes, they have. They want you for Arnold's murder. I didn't have nothing to do with that. Yes, you did, Dutch. You left a clue on Arnold's body that will send you to the chair. Oh, you're trying to pull a fast one, Carter. But you're not gonna. Well, I count three... Give me I'm... one minute, and I'll prove what I'm saying. Prove it? Oh. Dutch, you helped carry Arnold's body into my office, didn't you? What if I did? That don't prove that You I... carried Arnold's feet, and you left a fingerprint on this polished shoe. That's a lie, I said I'd prove it, and the proof is in my pocket. A photograph of that print. I don't believe it. Look for yourself. It's here in my breast pocket. You're, you're lying, Carter. It's just a trick to get Look me to... Look for yourself, I said. I can't do anything to you while I'm tied up this way, can I? Well, in this pocket, you say? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there's a picture in here, right? Take it out, and you'll see if I'm lying. Picture of a fingerprint, all right. Your print. See that cross-shaped scar? That's the print of your left thumb. Hey, hey you're right. It, it, it is my thumb. And that's what the cops have on you. Uh, they won't get me. When I finish with you, I'm going to leave town. It'll be too late. Your biggest danger isn't from the police, Dutch. What do you mean? Who else is after me? The chief. The, the chief? I, I don't get it. Why did the chief kill Arnold? I, to shut him up before the cops could get him. Now the cops are after you. How long do you think the chief will let you live? Uh... Oh, he wouldn't bump me off. No? As soon as you've killed us, he's going to put you out of the way. Didn't you hear him get his orders over the telephone back in the office? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I did hear him mention my name. Unless you do something quick, you're as good as dead, Dutch. Yeah, let me think. Oh, Scubby, Nick's coming scared. I'll trust Nick to think of something. Uh, I don't believe you, Carter. This is just a trick. If it's just a trick, why did the chief lock the warehouse door when he went out just now? Uh, he didn't. If you think I'm wrong, try it and see. All right, I will. Scubby, quick. Turn your back to me and try to get hold of the loose end of the rope around my wrists. Yeah, okay. I got it. Good. Pull it. Harder. Uh, harder. What? Okay. I did it. It's loose. Uh, it's pull it, all right. Why? Why'd he lock it? So there'd be no chance of you making a getaway after shooting us. What a dirty double cross. I'll take care of him. Here he comes now. He can't do that to me. Well, Dutch, have you finished? They're still alive. Yeah, I, I ain't plugged him yet. Why not, you fool? I gave you the signal three minutes ago. I got to thinking. Thinking? Who told you to think? I see you need a lesson in obeying orders. <laughs> the car was right after that. That... Uh, Yeah. So you were going to bump me off, were you? The chief's dead. Yeah, yeah. He's dead, all right. And you better be making your getaway. Somebody may have heard those shots. Yeah. First, I got something else to tend to. I'm going to carry out the same plan. Only it's the chief who's going to stay here with you and not me. Hey, where's Carter? Right behind you, Dutch. What the... <laughs> Nick, you've knocked him out cold. Yes, and I think he'll stay out for a while. Now, I'll get you two on top. Oh, Nick, you're wonderful. Oh, Patsy, just try to think faster and farther than the other fellow, that's all. The way you got loose and sneaked around behind him that way. Oh, Nick. Oh, if that knot hadn't come loose the way it but did, it did well, we'd... And that's all that matters now. There you are, Patsy. Now, I'll get you loose, Scully. Okay. But how did you get the knock untied, Nick? The chief said it was a special knot that no one could untie. That was his mistake. Remember he said a magician taught it to him? Well, he was right. It was a magician's knot. Holds tight forever, unless you know the trick. But I know something about magic myself in an amateur way, and I knew that knot would come loose with one pull. Oh, I see. But I couldn't pull it myself because he didn't leave the end long enough. There you go, Scubby. Oh, thanks. Boy, it sure feels good to be able to stretch again. Well, what about the chief, Nick? Is he really... Dead? Yes. He'll never answer any questions for us. Dutch got him through the heart. Well, 
What'll we do now, Nick? Scubby, you take Patsy back to the office and wait for me there. Yeah. I'm going to take Dutch to police headquarters. As soon as he comes to, I'm going to ask him a few questions. <laughs> Police headquarters. Yeah, and if you know what's good for you, you're going to talk. Oh. Oh. I don't know nothing. Listen, Dutch. You're booked for murder. Oh. Your only chance to beat the chair is to tell us everything you know. The chair's too good for the likes of you. But if you talk, you'll maybe get off with only a life sentence. Oh, look, I, I don't know nothing, I tell you. If I did, I'd, I'd spill it, but I, I don't. Come on, now tell us. Who's the real head of the gang? The one who gave the chief orders. Oh, I don't know. I, nobody knew him but the chief. All the rest of us got our orders from the chief. Lion ain't going to get you anywhere. I don't think he is lying, Riley. I was afraid he wouldn't know. The real leader's too clever to have any dealings with a small fry. Well, then we're no better off than we were before, Nick. I haven't finished questioning him yet. Dutch, where's Mrs. Anders' baby now? Oh, I don't know that either. You must have heard them talking about it. No, not enough to learn, nothing. You worked with Arnold. Didn't he mention the name of the couple he sold the baby to? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he did. I, I can't remember. You better remember if you know what's good for you. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait. Yeah, I, I think I got it. Yeah, yeah, Smith, Smith, that's it. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And the first name? Oh, I don't know. Arnold never said that. Ah, that's no good to us. There's a million Smiths. There may be a million Smiths, Riley, but I think I can find the particular Smiths who have Mrs. Anders' baby. Glory be, how can you find the right Smith out of so many of them? I haven't time to explain. See what you can get out of Dutch. I'm going to find Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yes, yes, this is Mrs. Anders. Who's this? Mrs. Anders, can anyone overhear you? No, no, they can't. Good. Now, Mrs. Anders, I want you to keep quite calm until you've heard what I have to say. Keep calm? But what is it? Is it about my baby? He's not... Your baby is perfectly all right, Mrs. Anders. Oh, oh thank heaven. Naturally, you want him to keep on being all right, don't you? Oh, yes, yes, of course I do. In that case, you must get hold of yourself and listen to me. Yes. All right. I'll be calm. Really, I will. Very well. Now, Mrs. Anders, I'm sure you'll be pleased to know your baby has been adopted by a very fine couple who love him as if he were their own. Yes, but he's mine. He's my baby. They can't you take You mustn't him. interrupt. I haven't much time. This couple are able to give the baby the best of everything. More, I'm sure, than you and your husband ever could. But that's not important. He's my baby. It doesn't matter if we're rich or not. We can take care of him. He belongs to us, not somebody else. You should have thought of that before you agreed to let him be adopted. But I didn't agree to let him be adopted. I didn't. They were going to take care of him for a month just while I was away. They stole him from me. Mrs. Anders, I warn you that if you can't be calm, I'll hang up. <laughs> yes, I'm calm now. Please don't hang up. No matter how you came to part with him, the fact is he's safe and happy where he is. Unless you want to risk his life, you'll agree to leave him where he is and make no more effort to find him. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that. If you persist in trying to find him, Mrs. Anders, you may regret it the rest of your life. Oh, no, no. I'm speaking as a friend. If you love your baby... Oh, I do. I do. That's why I want him back. I say if you love your baby, you'll go straight to Nick Carter and make him withdraw from the case. Go, go to Nick Carter and tell him I don't want him to find my baby. Exactly. And you'll make sure he does what you ask. But then I'd never see my baby again. Which is more important? Knowing your child is alive and growing up well and strong or seeing him again? Dead. Oh, no, no. You have to make the choice. Now, quickly, what do you say? No, no, I can't. Hurry, Mrs. Anders. It's life or death for your baby. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll tell Mr. Carter. That's a very wise decision. But you mustn't tell him why you're asking him to give up the case. You understand? No, I... I... Tell him that you've been thinking it over and that you've decided the baby would be too much of a burden for you and your husband. Oh. That you want the people who have him to keep him. All right, all right, I'll tell him. I'll tell and him And see to it that he believes you. Goodbye, Miss Anders. Nick, 
What did you learn from Dutch? You learned something. I can tell that. I didn't learn much, but I think it may be enough. Patsy, hand me the suburban telephone book, will you? Telephone no, book? Of course, uh-huh. Nick. Here it is. Ah, thank you. Now, let's see. O. R. S. Samson. Simkin. Smith. Huh. Two columns of Smith. Well, oh, what Smiths are you looking for? The ones who have Mrs. Anders' baby. Who else? Huh? Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> who else? Ah, let's see. <laughs> Aha, here we are. It's either the Howard Smiths or the Richard Smiths. But how do you know, Nick? Dutch said a couple named Smith took the baby. But out of all the Smiths in the world, how could you possibly... Just by putting the clues together, Patsy. But... Stop and think. You know them as well as I do. Maybe I do, but I'm afraid you'll have to tell me just the same. All right, Patsy, I will. Later. Oh, Nick. Right now, Scubby and I are going after the baby. And every minute counts. Oh, that's swell, Nick. Hey, will it take long? An hour, perhaps. I have to drive about 15 miles. Patsy, you take care of the office while we're gone. Why can't I come, too? Two of us are enough. You can do more good here. Oh, all right, but I'll be on pins and needles until you get back. Right. I'll scubby. I'll, oh. I'll answer it. Yes? Oh, it's Mrs. Anders. Come in, dear. Come in, Miss Bowen. I must speak to Mr. Carter at once. Yes, of course. He's right here. Good evening, Mrs. Anders. <gasps> Mr. Carter, I... I've only got a moment now, Mrs. Anders, but I think I can promise you that I'll have good news for you very soon. Good news? You, mm-hmm. you mean you know where my baby is? Yes, Mrs. Anders. You may have it back before the night's over. No. No, I don't want it back. You don't want your baby back. Say, what is this? I, I've been thinking it over. Baby, too much of a burden for me. I, I want the people who have it to keep it. <laughs> Want them to keep it? This is that. Yes, I never want to see it again. Mr. Carter, you've got to stop trying to find it. Mrs. Anders, you can't be serious. But I am. I mean every word of it. You've got to drop the case. Promise me you will. But Mrs. Anders... No, Patsy, no. no. There's no use arguing with her. She may... Oh, I do, I do. Promise me you won't go any further, Mr. Carter. Please promise me. All right, Mrs. Anders. I promise So Nick has promised to drop the case. To stop trying to get back the baby for whose sake he and Patsy and Scubby have just risked their lives. And just as it seemed he was about to find it. He can't be going to let the baby-stealing gang get away with it. He must have something else in mind. But what? Listen tomorrow. In the strange adventures of Nick Carter, Master Detective... Nick Carter is played by Lon Clark, Patsy by Helen Choate. The stories are written by Bob Arthur and David Cogan. Original music is played by Lou White. The entire production is under the direction of Jock McGregor. Tomorrow night at the same time, listen to the further adventures of Nick Carter in the case entitled... Kidnapped for Sale. Or Nick Carter and the mystery of the missing babies. Don't forget that the adventures of Nick's adopted son, Chick Carter, are broadcast over most of these stations Monday through Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Wartime. Nick's own show, The Return of Nick Carter, is a copyrighted feature of Street & Smith Publications, Incorporated. It is a mutual presentation produced in the New York studios and is broadcast over most of these stations Monday through Friday evenings at quarter past nine Eastern Wartime. This is Mutual.